continuity and continuum of care in nursing. The field of nursing is growing at a fast pace, which means that more consideration and understanding of the given healthcare sector are needed. Assessment of the patient's attitude to health requires considerable and specific knowledge in the field of psychology and sociology. Several issues in nursing need a significant amount of consideration and reassessment because they can improve the current growth of the given field. The concepts of continuity and continuum of care aim to ensure that a patient gets their treatment and medical supervision regardless of healthcare facility changes or shifts. Ideas of public health are associated with such important issues as the creation of integrated systems of medical and socio-environmental monitoring. The main motivation of managers of various ranks is to improve the health of their employees and the population as a whole. It also includes the formation of effective resource-saving economic policies of the economy and the implementation of adequate personnel policies. In addition, Accountable Care Organizations ACOs, are a group of medical professionals and healthcare units, which are solely focused on providing coordinated and multi-targeted care for every patient. These ideas are well combined with the requirements stated in the nursing standards of nursing education among nations, according to which average paramedical workers receive the qualification of a nursing manager. They are focused on mastering the principles and methods of psychological research and correction in relation to different categories of patients. Furthermore, the concept of medical homes is essential in comprehending the current growth of the nursing field. These healthcare units aim to provide team-based patient care, where various medical specialists are involved. In the curriculum of nursing issues of disease prevention, protection, and promotion of public health, the organization of different types and forms of therapeutic and diagnostic assistance needs to prevail. Moreover, there is a critical concept of nurse-managed health, which focuses on delivering the most effective and crucial patient care in rural areas. The main purpose of the given idea is to increase access to medical aid, where the latter is in limited supply. It can be stated that in this case, the nursing diagnosis should be carried out according to the classical variant of the modern model of nursing. The primary goal has to be to assess the attitude to patient's health. In addition, the emphasis on nursing diagnostics should be transferred to the self-assessment of health by people. Studies suggest that society is currently entering a new stage in the development of attitudes towards diseases, thus, the nursing field should form and improve the methodology of diagnostics. The given sector needs to manage the health of not only the healthy or sick but also society from the standpoint of public health. In conclusion, nursing development should be based on mandatory principles of evidence-based medicine, which provide the possibility of proving or refuting certain decisions and formalizing both the development of the actual solutions for certain standard situations and the decision-making process in non-standard cases. The development of the concept and mechanism of implementation, as well as the use of the principles of evidence-based medicine, should be conducted in the activities of the management personnel of the industry.